It's my great pleasure to present you with your heritage certificate. You were the 240th field umpire to officiate in a, in a VFL AFL game and uh, it's rec in recognition of that outstanding achievement uh, that we present this to you and uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to be here. Thank you. Peter, I started uh, playing, trying, trying to get into the under thirds and under 19s in those days at Essendon and I did my knee in a um, practice match and I had a cartilage out and uh, uh, my father said, what are you going to do, uh, do for your sport? And I said, uh, well, my brother was on his way up and just starting to get into Essendon under 19s, etc. Oh, I'll go and watch my brother. No, you want to scream now for umpires. Go and do something, you know, instead of hanging over the fence. So that's how I got started. I think uh, when you're umpiring a uh, family like Ted Whitten, Bob Skilton, I still really don't know today whether Bob Skilton was a left foot or right. I was lucky enough to, to never crack it for a senior grand, a senior final, but I did three reserve grade grand finals in a row, and that was probably you know an honour to do that back in those days. Uh, this voice came over: "We're wanting timekeepers. If Don Blue can handle 36 footballs on the field, surely he can hold a stopwatch for kids." From that point, I just went on, and I became. Uh, Chief Referee in Tasmania and then uh, became Secretary to the, to the uh, Technical Committee of Australian Swimming, uh, then moved on to the Board of Australian Swimming. Uh, from there I represented them on the FINA World Technical Committee, which I was on for 22 years and I decided to retire last August. It have to be the Sydney Olympics. Uh, they were the start of really the, I'd call them the modern Olympics. They really did, Sydney did it well. Uh, Ian Thorpe and the team, uh, very good. Uh, another memorable name was watching Phelps. Michael Phelps is just a magnificent swimmer. Gone out of the, uh, out of the football now, and uh, you know, I still keep an interest in our local swimming club. Reached the right old age of 76, so uh, now it's a sort of retirement age. But uh, Tasmania's been very good at so. You know, we look after a, a rural property and uh, you know for the last uh, six or eight years and uh, that's been very good for us.